Action! Because he's definitely inspired us. Mesmerizing. But you guys killed it. So good. All right, people. Namaste, ji, from the mesmerizing waters of Lake Tsomariri out here in the, the Union Territory of Ladakh. Uh, man, I can never forget the first time I was over here, uh, springtime 2013, while shooting way back home, uh, and then again while shooting Soul Trails during fall, and now we get to witness this beautiful lake uh, during summers, and. Uh, it's uh, really surprising, you know, because the lake is already at about 15,000 feet and the temperatures right now are just nice 15 to 20 degrees. So nice. So we're here to shoot a small little feature with this guy called Kyren D'Souza, uh, who's a trail runner and uh, um, he's been climbing, running, setting new world records all around the Indian Himalayas and uh, now he's here right by Lake Somriri uh, where he has one such project where he plans to climb 10 of these peaks, all 6,000 meter plus peaks uh, within a time span of 30 days. For many people, you know, coming to Tsomariri is like a once in a lifetime experience, you know, and uh, a lot of them don't even get to stay here for that long. And uh, just for that reason, you know, Bharti and I always kind of uh, thank our stars, you know, for bringing us back to this magnificent lake time after time. So we reached here last evening after a full day's drive from Manali, just as the sun was setting over the lake. And uh, man, what can I say? I mean, just the breathtaking views everywhere and uh, the sheer vastness of it all that just leaves your heart, you know, smiling. And then almost abruptly and at the same time, very, very slowly, you know, dusk presents itself and it completely paints the entire landscape in this purple pinkish hue. Oh man, it's all so magical and uh, it happens every single day, ever so differently. So we're staying in Korzok, uh, which is the only village tucked away on the northern shores of the lake. And uh, it was such a surprise to see some greenery around the village, which otherwise always seemed kind of devoid of life. So we're going to be here for an entire week. And uh, obviously we're going to be shooting with Kyren for a couple of days. Uh, but uh, we'll have a lot of free time to ourselves, which we want to utilize to kind of explore more of uh, the Somariti area. We don't have any plans as such. Uh, all in all, uh, just uh, uh, just very happy to be in the in, in the vastness of it all. High up around the lakes of the Himalayas, there lives a creature, the Himalayan marmot. Its cuteness outshines that of any other creature found in the region. <laughs> so on the road to Somariri, about six or seven kilometers uh, before you actually reach the lake, there's this green patch which is I guess marmot land <laughs> and we've been here since this morning just observing these fat fur balls running around and digging burrows and it's just been I think one of the best ways to entertain yourself and I really think like the marmot is probably one of the cutest creatures you'll get to see when you're in the Himalayas. Do you suffer from anything crony that we should now? No, nothing. I've just been taking Dimox for the last two days, half hour. Okay. Are you taking Dimox too? No. What's that? 92? 92, 92, 86. Is that good or bad? 92 is very good. 92 is the oxygen saturation. Hmm. Uh, 86 is your pulse. Achha. If blood has an oxygen carrying capacity of 100%, it's carrying 92 right now, which is pretty recent. Okay. But if you're 92 in the cities, they would probably put you on a, on a oxygen. No way, like really? Limited oxygen dose, yeah. 92 is too low in the cities. Where you have seen it as low as 37 also sometimes. Huh. People who are not feeling good. Not feeling good, yeah, yeah.
I don't know if Ronnie and I have done some good deeds in our previous life because somehow <laughs> the mountain gods always seem to be pleased with us and surprise us with these beautiful gifts of these crazy experiences. Man, like we are up here, come, came to shoot Kyren and had no idea that this would be happening today, which is uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama's birthday. Solving his birthday, so every year we used to celebrate in this specific area. So we have activity like cows uh, horse racing, and uh, we have playing cards, and we have dance at the night time, and that's it. Yeah, everybody is gathering here and enjoying. Yes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> this is once in a year, so we celebrate it nicely. watch the horse race which is the highlight of today <laughs> Everybody likes uh, children got an opportunity to study in uh, school, so there are less students doing the to continue their nomadic lifestyle. So everybody used to see this nomadic life will no no longer left. So they are so worried about this. How do you feel about it? Even me to feel like this this nomadic life will no longer stay. Almost maybe after uh, two or three years, they, everything will lost. Everybody will settle to the city area and nomadic people will uh, automatically lose their lives. Mesmerizing. At the same time, it's like one portion of it looks like you could be looking at the turquoise waters of the Maldives or Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep, yeah. You know, some parts are like pitch black. Yeah. And then some parts are like this beautiful azure, blue, like sapphire yeah. blue that you see when you're like sailing deep, deep in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Yeah. And then there are parts which are just like glassed over, yeah, like a mirror. Like it's. Oh my god, I think you can just sit here for hours and just feel like hypnotized or like, I don't know, like just trip out on this. <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful. And this is the top sun right now, dude, the yeah. ugliest time of the day. Like. Sure. Good morning, everybody. It's 5.30 a.m. and we are getting ready for our shoot with Kyren. We can use this one or the other one. Nice. I don't know, but this one, it's got more feel. Uh, yeah. No, I like both because there you can see his smile also. Yeah. Nicely. Check these guys out. 
<laughs> they are fighting so hard that it's literally like tough to breathe out here. <laughs> Battling a couple things like the wind, but hopefully that should be fine. Okay, we got to go. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, action. <laughs> it was a little too. I, it wasn't as smooth as I thought. Yeah, yeah. They were like, the panda heads with him. Oh no, too cool. <laughs> good take, good take. Good take. <laughs> They're all looking. Good take, guys. That's the end point. Run from in that straight line. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, Okay. Action! How are you? Oh, good. Getting hot though. Getting hot. <laughs> yeah. That was the, the money shot, Karen. Oh yeah. It looked. Oh man. Oh my god, it looks Christa. so good. <laughs> it's been almost a year since we've been thinking about doing this project with Kyron. Uh, initially, Ronnie and I could not really wrap our heads around what it is that we wanted this film to say. But uh, after spending almost a year like getting to know him better as a person rather than the feats that he's accomplished so far, uh, I think we now have a clearer idea of what is the direction we want to take this film in so i'm hoping that uh, this emotion this interview uh, pulls out the right kind of emotions that we're looking for and uh, inspires everybody yeah because <laughs> he's definitely inspired us so yeah let's see how this goes yes, yes. That's Thank you. <laughs> Finally, bro, after yeah. one year. <laughs> so, we've just reached almost the southern tip of uh, Somoriri. This is one place I really wanted to uh, come check out. I think the lake, if you measure it from its northern tip to the southern tip is almost about uh, 24, 22, 23 kilometers long. We actually come to this area which is known as Kyangdom, which is basically the land of the wild asses. But uh, sadly we haven't spotted a single one yet. Okay, so here we are in uh, Kyangdom, the south end of uh, Tsomoriri. The drive out here was uh, pretty insane, man. Uh, you definitely need four wheel drives because uh, there's like a lot of sandy areas and then you go up these big big mounds and hills and it's quite a lot of hill climbs as well. We had an Innova which didn't make it uh, but yeah so today is basically Kyren's off day and uh, as you can see there are lots of people behind me and that's uh, Kyren's entire team out here. So one person climbing all these mountains uh, but like 15 people here to support him. Alright guys so we have a little surprise for you. Guess who we bumped into in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> and we are coordinating. <laughs> twinning, hello, hello. twinning with Tanya. Hi guys. <laughs> How has YouTubing changed your life? It has completely, absolutely changed my life. I never thought I could like make a career out of it. Mm. I started it as, as just you know a hobby, and eventually when I I got, finally get to like you guys also, uh, if we get to travel out of it and yeah. make content at the same time and. Uh, make videos that can entertain, educate, and yet have fun doing it. Yeah. It's a it's a different ball game altogether. I think it's beautiful. So true. Yeah. So true. We're all in the same boat. Yeah. We are. <laughs> 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 we killed it. You guys we killed, killed it. it. It was so good. Natural, natural. Naturals and making reels. Please make reels. <laughs> These past few days out here in Korzok have been like very special and like full of surprises. I mean, getting to spend an entire week out here on the banks of the gorgeous Somoriri is like special enough in itself. But to top it off, we got to celebrate His Holiness the Dalai Lama's birthday with the Tibetan nomads. 
and then obviously like getting to hang out with all these creators man like that has been a very new experience for both Ronnie and I like bumping into Tanya out here of all places <laughs> in the country and doing like our first dance reel with her was weirdly wonderful in a way you know like and then of course hanging out with the main man himself the humblest superhuman you will probably come across Karen de Souza <laughs> like just getting to know him and spending time with him and then shooting the film that we've shot with him i think uh, it's been yeah special because he's setting yet another world record and yet again we've gotten to be like a small part of it so i think this is going to go down as a timeless tale in the book of our lives ronnie <laughs> i think ronnie there's just one thing left for you and i to do before we leave by the way guys uh, kyron has also recently started vlogging and uh, he's showing us places which the rest of us can only dream about reaching you know uh, so make sure you uh, support him in his endeavors uh, i've placed a link in the description because uh, he's one guy who is you know completely single handedly changing the entire mountaineering landscape in our country uh and also uh, the film that we've shot with him right now uh we'll be releasing it uh, maybe a couple of vlogs down uh so yeah that's all for now until the next one chill ji